Good evening, it's 9pm, just gone, the market's just closed and I'm going to recap my trading for today. On my screen is the MES one hour time frame and we're currently looking at the last couple of days in the one hour. So today, after I did my live video this morning around 8.30, um, we were about here I think at 8.30 and I said we're watching for a potential high risk um, rejection off of this area and you can see it did reject that area and then broke through. I'll go to that. I'll go into that trade in a little bit more detail because that's the trade I took. Um, but I just wanted to draw your attention to this, these trend lines I drew in today. So I I put together these two trend, these two pivots, and then I duplicated the trend line to there, and it exactly matched the pivots below as well. So pretty uncanny how the market will just always match, especially the trend lines. I do it quite a lot. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So, for example, I, for example, I, I drew in this trend line. I touched those two pivots there, and then I just clone the line. Let's try again. Clone the line. And on trading view, you just hold down the control button on your keyboard, and you can see if I clone the line, it joins pivots together, and you can get a really good idea of where we're going today. And so you can see we put in. We were trading between this 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 channel. We pushed, come back down. We tested that area again, and today we tested that area. We broke out, and now we're running down along that trend line, which is quite interesting to see. So I just wanted to draw your attention to that. We've just in the last few minutes broke out, and now we're closed above this area. So we're looking pretty bullish at the moment, and potentially we're seeing this change of trend as well. So. Are we looking at an inverse head and shoulders pattern? This is the left shoulder, this is the head, potentially the right shoulder, and the, the neckline is here, we're right on the neckline, so we'll find out what's going to happen. So potential trade for tomorrow will be the break of this neckline and the, com and the retest of it. Um, so probably this level is still going to be valid tomorrow, so we'll keep an eye on this. And then we've got a potential target up here at 4400 for either rejection or a continuation of the trend. So just interesting to see. Got our daily area here, 44.15. This is most likely the neckline on that daily head and shoulders pan. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah, so that's tomorrow. We're now above, closed above the 50 on the hourly. So potentially seeing a bit of a change of trend. But if you see, we've had a few torrid days coming down anyway. Um, going into the five minute time frame, I'm just going to quickly recap. As so we've got my mental toughness session in a few seconds. So, pre market, I said we're watching this for a potential rejection, and that's exactly what I took. I, I took the break and the retest just here, and, um, and it's a higher low. It looked bearish as well. The only problem is my target was. This neck, this little inverse head and shoulders pattern, and I had my first target on this neckline, on on this shoulder, and my second target down here. And I was hoping we would put in another bottom on this on this um, trend line, but sadly that didn't happen. So I stopped out break even some of it, and I took a stop. And I'm just go back. I didn't start break even. So I stopped out break even there, and I took a little bit of a loss on on the other half there. So a bit annoying, I should have really taken profit, especially when we saw this double bottom, and that was the key there. I should have taken taken off there because we didn't put in a new a new um, low, and I should have just taken my trade. But I held too long, and it bit me. So, But I did make it back. So my next trade, I was potentially watching another head and shoulders pattern, but you could, you could argue that every, every one of these could have been head and shoulders. So this could have been part of the shoulder as well, and this could have been. So it was playing a range. It wasn't doing much today. So I I got short up there, got short up there, and I got short there, and I even got short there because I was using this 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 red area as my supply zone. So I was trying to find the trade, and then I got out there, got out here, I forgot, got out down here, and one down here, and the last time then I broke then I just when we broke out through here I just took took it off because I didn't like how we, where we were going. It looked it looked bullish once we put in this bottom tail. So I think I got out my last my last out in profit was about here I think on the break of that. 
and so it wasn't going to get pushed down. I was hoping it would come back down and retest this um, trend line, but it didn't. So that's my trade, fully green, and not a bad day really. So we could do with um, managing these type of trades a bit better because you know I should have taken profit off down here. In fact, I I lost on a trade. I went green. I was very well green as well. Ended up end, ended up red. So don't want to turn green trades into red trades. So to work on. Okay, well thank you for watching, and I'll be doing live video tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. I oh, know 2 p.m. UK time and 9 a.m. Eastern time, where we go through all these levels and just see where the market is. I'm putting in some top in towers here, so we might see a bit of a pullback. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow.